Hey guys, welcome back to Heiko's Garage. I have been pretty busy. We're planning on building a carport here in front of Heiko's Garage. And so there is not much time for other activities here around here. Um, but I just wanted to give you a quick little video update of what has already been done, what's going to happen, what the plan is, and uh, just show you guys around a little bit. So let's turn the camera around and I'll show you what's so going on. So here inside my garage, I have a little planning table with the approved plans. This was all engineered and signed off by the county. Uh, this is what this is all going to be look like here. Front view, side view. Here's the other side with a railing on top. So it's a carport with a deck on top. And uh, yeah. And I've been working on getting the footings dug. I, of course, didn't do that by hand. Here's lots of little details of the construction. It's going to be a steel structure with uh, large I-beams going across here in three locations. So now all the way around the driveway here, there's a footing behind the wall. There's one in the driveway, two in front of my house here and then two more on the, the other side of the retaining wall. The engineering plans were only calling out for uh, uh, four dowels, 18 inches long, epoxied into the retaining wall. I put a little bit more steel in here, made some U-shaped loops, top and bottom, and I also added a vertical to the whole uh, structure here. Everything is epoxied into the wall. So first drilled, then uh, brushed out and blown out with compressed air and then epoxied in. Maybe I overdid it a little bit with the epoxy, but uh, I just didn't want to have any air or voids in there. So way more steel than what the plants are calling out for. So these are the smaller two footings. And then the ones here in front of the garage are pretty large. Again, um, epoxied into the footing of the house or the foundation of the house drilled into and epoxied in and then here at the bottom double layer loop and another double layer here at the top and also some verticals all supported by dobies minimum three inches from earth i will clean that up a little bit more there's some uh, leaves and whatnot have fallen in there in the last couple of days same over here looks almost identical same amount of steel and uh, it uh, again didn't ask for all this I just ended up putting more steel in there than uh, was uh, specked out in the plans here is one that looks almost the same but this is the footing of a retaining wall so we drilled into that and epoxied into it and added a bunch of steel and then uh, there's one more footing over here on the far side of this retaining wall. This is the largest footing. It's almost four feet deep. And, uh, you know, dirt tends to always collapse. The rose bush that I still have to pull out of there uh, has turned into a massive hole. But we're just going to fill it with concrete. Also, um, called out for was only 18 inches of rebar some dowels top and bottom and i turned it into loops and a vertical here as well and i will put a couple more dobies down there those little concrete blocks uh, to keep the rebar off the ground in case uh, the concrete gets poured in and that pushes down the rebar too far that it will not get into soil contact all right, yeah, so two footings there, two footings there, one over there, and then the last one right here. That's pretty much all we got. Alrighty, guys, so that's the big project at the moment. That's what I have been working on. Um, yeah, a couple more months, I think, until the structure is all up. Uh, like I said, on top of the the carport is going to be a deck and uh, I hope by the beginning of summer we're going to be done with this and we can sit there in the morning and have our morning coffee. Alrighty guys, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye.